Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to Budgets and Dreams. My name's Jen and I'm on a journey to pay off £27,000 worth of debt with a goal to pay off £10,000 in this year in 2022. Um, I am so excited about this week's video everybody, hello, I hope you are all well. Um, I have been waiting all week to do this video, this is my bonus cash stuffing video. I was very very fortunate to get a bonus through my job and today I get to stuff it and yes I've just it's the only thing that's been getting me through this week. I have had the most awful migraine all week this week still feeling rubbish today I am kind of putting on this energy slightly for you today otherwise uh, you'd probably fall asleep <laughs> um, so yes so I will do my best I'm hoping the energy's not gonna and just fall off a cliff uh, but we will keep going we will see I am so excited so let's have a look at the affirmation card for this week um i hope you have all had a lovely week um yeah let's have a look so last week's was i have no limitations um which i really really liked and i would love to say that i practiced this affirmation this week but i didn't because i was heavily limited by a migraine <laughs> um so yes unfortunately uh, but i i do really like this one and i will be working that into the routine uh, so this week's affirmation is, my creative energy knows no limits. I really need one this week, actually. Um, part of what I do with my job, I would say, is creative. I do a lot of data analysis and data modelling and need a lot of logic. And I think the logic does create does play into the creative kind of side of, of the brain. So for me, um, my creative energy knows no limits. I need that to get me through next week, especially if I'm feeling a bit grog still. That was probably a bit of a ramble. I hope you get a chance to use this one this week. So let's do have a very, very quick look. I'll pop those there. Very, very quick look at uh, last week's spending. So somebody not naming names, my husband, um, wasn't able to wait until today uh, before getting his hands on his extra bonus spending money and extra bonus protein money. So I have already given him his um, extra spending money and his spending money for the month and he spent a hundred and, where was it? Here, £127 on protein. So um, I was planning as part of this week's budget to put £150 into um, B protein, which is one of the pots on Hyperjar. Um, and that's then due to cover my husband and his protein requirements for the rest of the year. Um, but yes, like I said, he was slightly impatient, couldn't wait. Uh, so he spent £126.78 and uh, we'll just put 25 in there when we get round to it in a minute. Um, so that was a bit of a jump forward. Uh, on Saturday, we did do Father's Day dinner. So I said last week that my son was going to be learning to cook and he was going to cook his dad a steak. He did. He did very well. He studied some Gordon Ramsay videos and then together we cooked my husband um, steak and new potatoes with some tasty butter and some asparagus. Um, we did have a couple of um, unbudgeted spends this week. So I did forget to buy a pudding for Sunday for Father's Day. So obviously we had to go and get a pudding, but it was unbudgeted. Um, I need some Olaplex for my hair or Olaplex, which is like a hair bonding treatment. So I noticed that since my last hair appointment, um, the last bleaching, I think it was quite brutal on my hair. My hair was feeling not particularly pleasant. Um, so I had to get some uh, good stuff. So I got some Olaplex, which is what my hairdresser suggested I get. Yeah, so needed to get some uh, stuff for my hair because my hair was feeling minging. Um, also on Tuesday, got a new camera stand. So if there is any slight wibbling or wobbling during the recording today, that is because I now have a table mounted camera stand and I'm not entirely sure um, how secure it is. So I expect there might be a couple of wobbles. I'm also not sure how far I can lean <laughs> lean forward. So if you see the top of my head <laughs> at any point, <laughs> it's because I'm just trying to get used to it, okay? Um, yeah, so there's that. Uh, what else did we do? Oh, I bought myself a bit of lunch on Wednesday. Um, I didn't fancy anything that was in the house because I had this migraine, I felt really, really sick. There wasn't anything in the house that I really felt like eating, but I knew I had to eat because I needed to take some painkillers. Um, so that was like the worst trip to the shop I've ever had in my life. It was sad and lonely <laughs> and I really struggled to find anything that I wanted to eat. 
and I think I came back with a pot noodle. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that wasn't so great. Uh, husband did that protein as well on Wednesday. Uh, yesterday I did manage to go out for dinner with friends, um, although <laughs> I had to take some extremely heavy painkillers to be able to make it, um, and my husband drove, so I was in my sunglasses. Um, I didn't want to not go, um, even though I was feeling so rough, because I haven't seen these guys together, just the three of us, in a really long time, and it was way overdue. So yeah, so that was that. £15 wasn't too bad for dinner, which is good. Luckily I'm not drinking any fizzy drinks at the moment, so that kind of leaves you with just water. Um, I'm not going to get fruit juice out and about. So, so yeah, so that was only 15 quid. And then we did have some unbudgeted, like, top-up grocery shop money. Um, that was for things like uh, we ran out of coffee, we ran out of milk. <laughs> I needed some sweets um, because today is day one of me not vaping. I finally worked my way through all of the vape that was in the house. Um... And yes, today is day one of cold turkey not vaping, uh, which on top of the migraine possibly wasn't a great idea. <laughs> uh, but anyway, so I've decided to, to curb the uh, cravings with sweets. So obviously that was a necessary unbudgeted spend on sweets. Um, and what else was in here? I can't quite remember. There was something else. It's probably not very important at all. Oh, some pudding for my son and oh, some dishwasher stuff like dishwasher... Um, tablets and salt I think and then the medical was the really really strong painkillers and a nose spray for my son because his hay fever is awful so the only thing we need to do just do some moving around is pop a nose spend sticker on for Monday which means we've now got three no spends for the month, which normally I'd be really excited about, except I'd set myself the ridiculous task of having 10 no spends this month. <laughs> um, so yeah, oops, never mind. Um, so yes, yeah, so that was the spending. So let's have a look at the budget. Okay, so this was last week's budget. Um, so um, I've been a bit lazy again and just done ticks. So all of our income was as expected, 397789. Our outgoings were expected, except um, my husband did get his usual spending money, which will now be £200 a month, and £200 extra because it was bonus payday, and I like to share. So, uh, so yeah, so my husband took his £400 spending money, uh, and then we had those other um, unbudgeted spends on top of the spends that we'd already planned, which was the camera stand and parking fine. Still haven't actually paid my niece's show, so this technically this unbudgeted spend will be more I need to do that and I've only just realised that I need to do that right now <laughs> so it's not even in next week's budget um whoops so yeah there's that um we put everything into hypergel like we said we were going to and my husband took that extra 126.78 for his protein and all of the cash stuffing was as we expected um so we did come in um over budget so we were expecting to come in at 1907 and we came in at 1361 so quite a lot over budget but that is because of things that were budgeted but just for today so where i got paid on tuesday and we've had to wait all this time to be able to play with the money um i managed it my husband didn't <laughs> so uh so yeah so that's what those why those are in blue and not red because they are budgeted they were just not budgeted this week so this is this week's budget i've changed my budget sheet up slightly so the in terms of like the actual budget it's only this column here that is the budget now um this is more of a cheat sheet for me and somewhere for me to keep my balances of everything that's in hyperjar and everything that's in the cash binder so i actually have an idea of how much i've got where because at the moment i just know i've got some money i don't know how much money so in terms of budget we've got a starting balance of 136197 which was the rollover from the previous week um and um husband's salary came in today at 1807.53 child benefits due in next week so that gives us a total of 3256 pounds in our bank the bills that are going out this week we've got 378.55 um minimum debt payment that's just my husband's credit card is 100 we're not planning to put anything on extra debt via the by the way of like bank transfer or anything like that so that's zero 
Um, my son's spending money, I can't top that up until next week, uh, or until July, because we've already put some money in Go Henry in June, so it has to wait until July, so he's not getting anything. Um, husband's spending, he's not getting a single penny more. I think he's had enough, <laughs> so he's not getting anything else. Um, I'm getting 61.87 transferred to my bank, that is to pay for Hendu that's coming up in July. Um, we're putting £678.13 and pence into Hyperjar, £800 into the cash binder, which is loads, and uh, 1584 which was those unexpected top-up shops that haven't cleared the bank yet, is in other. So our total um, expenses are 2034 which means at the end of this week we will have a rollover of £1,222. Um, so yeah, so that means we can start doing some stuffing, which is super exciting exciting because I have an awesome plan for today. So let's get into Hyperjar. All right then, so here we are in Hyperjar. Um, what was I going to say? Oh yes, I have already transferred over some money into anniversaries. So what I've done is I have emptied out every single pot to a round zero, except medical because it had £40 in there. I just rounded it to 40 um, and Italy, which has got £20.77. We're over £20 in Italy, which is great. But I didn't steal any money from there because that is shared with me and my sister and she is not responsible for any of the rest of my budget. So that stays. What I've done is I've taken all the pennies off the end and I've shoved it all into anniversary. So I think about £6 went into anniversary, which is great. So we now have £34.66. Normally, I would just empty out the weekly ones, but because we're going a bit extreme and extravagant in the Hyperjar today, I wanted a clean slate to work from. So first of all, uh, we've got £678.13. I am going to start off by doing the usual um, bits. So we've got £70 into groceries. Oh, I didn't catch it before it made a noise. Um, £30 into petrol. As usual. And £20 going into top up. Just like that. Cool. Right, so that's that stuff done. We can move on to some exciting stuff. So the plan is we are going to fully fund-ish um, the rest of the jars in here. And then I'm not planning to top up any of these jars for the entire rest of the year, um, other than family fun. So the grey ones, which are our weekly expenses, they'll get topped up weekly. Family fun will get topped up weekly. Everything else is getting its money now and then that's it for the entire year. Um, and it's just the way that I wanted to just do the budget and give it a go and just see if it works. Um, I've no real reason. I was just curious. <laughs> so we'll uh, we'll add the money in. So ice cream is getting £20 and that is for our lovely ice cream shop that is up around the corner that we love. Um, gifts is getting £100. So I do have a few birthdays left this year. Um, I say I, it's because it's me who does all the shopping. But I think I'm very confident that £100 will be enough. Family Fun is getting a big one this week. It's getting 50 and that is because it's bonus week. And I would like to have a bit of a buffer in there. We normally put about £20 in there a week. Um, but I would like a buffer, so if anything comes up on our family fun wheel, which is our little spinny wheel that we press in the week and it says what we're going to do for the week, um, if it uh, if anything comes up on there that's expensive, then I want to know that we've got a buffer, like the cinema or going out for dinner or something like that. Uh, this week it came up with watch a movie at home, free, love it. So I think we're going to watch Doctor Strange. Um, my son was a little bit disappointed that it wasn't anything more exciting, so we did it again and we got ice skating. So we've got to try and squeeze ice skating in around some other commitments that we already have. Um, a Hindu that I have on the Saturday, uh, meeting up with his granddad. Uh, what else is going on this weekend? Oh, and my son has a gym com gymnastics competition on the Sunday. <laughs> so somewhere through all that, we've got to try and squeeze in ice skating and watch a movie at home. Might not be able to manage it, but we'll try. 
Uh, so yeah, that's family fern. Home is getting 100. So this, I can guarantee you, will all be given to B&Q at some point via my husband, who has a bit of a garden obsession. Um, medical is getting topped back up to 100. It's taken a beating lately because of uh, my migraine and all of our... Um, allergies and whatnot so we'll top that back up to 100. Uh, o stuff is getting around 100 as well so this is for bits and bobs for my son so um, if he wants any particular books uh, like you know reading books or um, anything particular toys or he needs a new backpack or he needs a new water bottle or stuff like that stuff that isn't clothes and school uniform and clubs basically anything else that he wants i could just use it to treat him if i want to um i might take him out somewhere one day it's just for him it's just so there is some money available for my son so we can get stuff for him which is why it's oh stuff um pets is getting 100 and that is pretty much the same but for my dog um although he doesn't do much reading uh, <laughs> so this is just for like dog chews and dog toys and uh, should he need to go to the vet it might help a bit with that um, his grooming that sort of thing and then B protein is getting the last 25 pounds that he hasn't already spent and we'll see how long that lasts that will be interesting so that leaves us with the princely sum of three pounds and 13 pence in the wallet and that is going into Italy um, and that £3.13 is the remainder of a £65 that makes up um, the money that I've got for the Hindu. I'll show you a bit of paper and I will explain. <laughs> um, so I've got this here, my spend, 61.87. So that's the amount of money that I need to give to the Hindu. So I've transferred digitally 61.87 to my bank and then the remaining £3.13 I have digitally sent to Hyperjar and that's what we've just put into Italy. So Italy now has £23.90, which is amazing, especially because we nearly canned it completely. Uh, once and needs is getting nothing, no spending money. Um, but that's fine. I've noticed that since I've stopped spending, since I've stopped impulse spending, I don't really have the desire to do it. Um, so I think it must have just been a habit for me rather than any like personality trait or anything like that, which is what I thought it was. Um, yeah, I think I was just spending money out of habit. Um, so yeah, seem to have curbed that, which is really, really good. Let's move on. We have stuffed the heck out of Hyperjar. It has lots of lovely big numbers in there and I like it. So we will move on to do some cash stuffing. Okay, so as is tradition, we will start off with the penny challenge for which I will need a calculator today. So for the penny challenge, the way that I do this is I give myself £10 at the end of every week um, for my out and about money, which is my spending money. Anything that I don't spend, I save in the Penny Savings Challenge. Um, had a really good week this week. I have a whole five pounds left, which is really super exciting, especially because I've been really, really worried that um, I'm never gonna get this finished. So I've got five pounds to go into the Penny Challenge, but that's not all. I have decided to make this a bit more difficult for myself in terms of spending, more fun, for the penny challenge. So what I am going to do is every week, I am now going to take 10 pounds out of the bank for my out and about money, as I have here. I'm going to roll a dice and whatever number is on the dice goes into the penny challenge. So if I roll a six, that means I get four pounds spending money for the week. If I roll a one, that means I get nine pounds spending money for a week. The one pound would go into Flossie. Hope that makes sense. Let me demonstrate live for you right now. So I am going to move that there. I'm all fingers and thumbs. Let's roll the dice. Oh, I got a two. I'm really quite happy about that. <laughs> so an extra two pounds is going into the penny challenge, which means I have eight pounds for my out and about money for the week. So I'm just gonna pop that to one side um, because I don't have my purse with me. So I'll pop that over there. Dice is done. 
Good job. So we've got seven pounds to go into the penny savings challenge. Hope that made sense. Let me know what you think about this. Um, is it in the right place in the video? Does it need to be at the end? Did it make any sense? Do you not like it? Whatever you would like, please drop me a comment and let me know. Also, if you are enjoying today's video, which it would be amazing, uh, <laughs> please like, please subscribe and do all the stuff. So seven pounds we have got, we're gonna go backwards. So we've got seven minus three pounds 65, leaves us with 335, so that wasn't very long. Um, 335, which is there. So we need a yellow and a pink. So then what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the £2 into Flossie my Penny Llama and the £5 note is going to go into the savings wallet, which is where we keep the notes. So we'll pop that in there. So there's now £30 in there, which is lovely. So it's £30 and whatever is in Flossie is the total of the Penny Savings Challenge so far. So that was it for the penny savings challenge. So now let's move on to stuff some cash in the binder. Hello, hello, hello. Let's stuff some cash in the binder. So I have got lots and lots of lovely little cash here today. Um, I did think about uh, counting it all up for you, but given the way my brain is feeling right now, I'm not sure if I'd manage it. So we have got 400 pounds in 50 pound notes, 300 pounds in 20 pound notes, £80 in £10 notes and, and we've got £10 left in um, £5 notes. So let's get into stuffing. Quite a lot to stuff, which is very exciting. So first things first, birthday. So at the moment we are have completed saving for my birthday. So me, my son and my husband get £150 each for our birthday. We have realised that's probably quite a lot and we think we'll put it down next year. But we get 150 each for our birthday. Um, we have completed my birthday. That's this 150 here. We're currently working on my son's birthday, for which we have 60 pounds already. And today we are putting 90 pounds into birthday. And that should mean that both me and mine and my son's birthdays are fully funded. So this should now all add up to 300 pounds. Cross your fingers for me, please. We have got 51, 52, 20, 40, 60, 83. How about that? 300 pounds uh, in birthday. So that's me and my son. We're both summer babies. We are fully prepared for our birthdays which is really exciting and um, I'm so happy. This system really works. I know I'm really fortunate this week because I have a bonus um, but honestly <laughs> I was really surprised that uh, I didn't just spend all the money this week so normally um, when it gets to bonus time it we would have already decided where we're going out for dinner. Um, are we going to book a hotel somewhere for a weekend away? Are we going to book a holiday um, somewhere? Are we going to do this? Are we going to do that? And uh, we haven't done any of it this time. We have just got the bonus and um, waited um, and, and are only spending the money that we have budgeted, which is um, it's incredible. I'm very, I, I'm, I just don't understand how it's all happened like that. Uh, this system really is uh, brilliant. It works. If you're on the fence about trying it, just try it. It's great. Right, I'll stop waffling. So uh, the next one is car, and car is finally getting stuffed after months of neglect. Uh, so let me get a pen because we will, um, I don't have any nice fancy Sharpies. Um, I don't know if to use blue or green. This is quite, I think I might use green. Yeah, I'll use the blue one. Um, so car is actually going to be getting 30 pounds. So that is £30 for car, and this is for tyres that we will need in the new year. So I'm just going to do these roughly, and then I'll make them look all pretty off camera because it will take way too long. Um, that blue's really bright, isn't it? 
so yeah, so car has 30 pounds on the road to 600, which is great. Uh, Christmas, Christmas is getting 50 pounds, which is good because then that means we get to cross off a couple more of these prezies. So Christmas now has 50, 1, 20, 40, 60, 82, 200 pounds in Christmas. Crikey. Right, let's grab this pen. Uh, making a right mess here today. Um, and again, I'm just going to quickly cross these off like that and I will colour them in later. So that is another 50 into Christmas and it has £200. Uh, next is O Clothes. O Clothes is getting £50. Do really need to start getting some clothes for him soon. So we've got 50, 70, 90 in O Clothes. And O Clubs is getting £50 as well. So it now has £75. Um, if you are wondering why, after getting such a lovely bonus, am I not paying back lots of debt, I will talk you through that momentarily. Um, so bear with. Um, o Trip is getting £90. 50 70 90 so O Trip, which we need two hundred pounds. This should make it fully funded. So we've got fifty, seventy, ninety, one ten, one thirty, one fifty, one seventy, one ninety, two hundred pounds. So we have two hundred pounds in O Trip. So that is fully funded. That needs to go into the bank by the end of August. So I've got plenty of time for that. I think I'll probably get a lot of this into the bank over the next week or so, um, because birthday needs to go in there as well. Um, so yeah, another thing fully funded. Um, it's insane. It just makes no sense to me how I'm doing this. Um, oh, exciting. School holidays is getting a whopping 150 and that is because we want 300 pounds. Um, we want 300 pounds for the summer holidays because there's quite a lot that we want to do and we want to get done. Um, so yes, that's getting 150 so we have that 150 50 150 170 190 so there's 190 in school holidays so just another 110 to go for the summer and tech does anybody here remember tech do you remember tech um it's actually getting some money today so he's getting um 20 pounds i don't know why tech is a boy but apparently it is so tech is getting 20 pounds and that is to start saving to pay off the ipad that we have on buy now pay later now for the very fun exciting bit i am so looking forward to telling you about this so um i have cleared off another debt yay so um last week i spoke about how i wanted to uh with the bonus money i wanted to pay off the last 229 pounds that is on um the next card well that is done the next card is no more so we get to cross off 50 100 150 200 off of the tracker which is amazing um but that's not all um the other day I was curious to see whether I could get a loan that had a smaller interest rate than the big loan currently has and in doing so I have reduced the interest rate by 7% so from 10% on the big loan as it was to now 3% on the big loan as it is and that has meant that I have knocked off of that loan £812. So I have effectively paid off £812 of the debt that we owe from just by changing providers and getting a lower interest rate. So, I mean, I am amazed. So I get to cross all of that off. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Can you believe it? <laughs> so the extra 1500 that we need to make sure we reach that 10K by the end of the year is nearly done. Um, there's just 100 left. Well, actually, there's not. There's only 50 left because all of the bits of roller, you know, bits of extra after 
thing. I'm not making any sense today. <laughs> Trust me, I get to cross off another 50. Um, so there is actually only 50 pounds left to make sure I reach that 10K, providing I'm able to reach my minimum payments for the rest of the year. Um, which I, again, I'm completely amazed by. So, um, so yeah, so this is awesome progress. So um, I am still going to start my £500 Freedom Challenge and I'm still planning to run it twice, um, which was always the plan. Um, so yes, yeah, so we might not just reach that £10,000 that we're trying to pay off this year, we might smash it, but only time will tell. So yeah, so that was the super exciting thing about the debt. Speaking of the £500 Freedom Challenge, shall we stuff it for the first time and we'll come back and we'll stuff my personal spending money in a moment because there's nothing else we need to do in there so let's move this to one side let's bring in the 500 pound freedom challenge and yeah let's get stuffing this for the first time i'm very excited so the first one is 50 pounds so we need two 20s and a 10. So that is that one. Oh, I hope they fit. I made these so snug, like on purpose. Oh, look. Oh, that looks really pretty. Oh, I'm really happy with that. Oh, how cute. Oh, well, that's the first one. And we are not stopping there. We are also stuffing 35 into this one with the pink butterflies. And again, made it nice and snug. Oh, I might have made that one too snug, but we got there. <laughs> so 35 in that one. And we're going to be stuffing the 40 as well. And I'm hoping that I've remembered this correctly, um, because otherwise we're going to run out of money. Uh, so yeah, I love this one. This butterfly is so cute. Look at that. So yay. So we have started the £500 Freedom Challenge. So what I'll do is I'll um, work my way through this binder. Um, we will save up the £500. When we reach £500, we'll pop it in the bank, pay it off the big loan. Bingo, bango. Everyone's happy. We've made it a bit fun and we get to look at something pretty on the way. Woohoo! Um, so yeah, so that was the debut performance of the 500 Freedom Challenge. So let's go back to the cash binder and finish stuffing my personal spending cash -aroos. So celebration is getting 30. Um, this is now going to be like an, a dual purpose, a multi-purpose envelope. So it's going to be celebration, which is going to be like Hindus, weddings. It could be my niece's performances. It could be um, a certificate that my son gets from gym. It could be anything um, really uh, that doesn't fit into the rest of my categories that I can in some way or another make it be classed as a celebration of sort. <laughs> so um, so yeah, that's become multi-purpose now. Clothes is also getting £30 and there's nothing in there at the moment either. So that's just 30 Going out is getting £30. Obviously, I spent a bit out of there yesterday, keeping track of everything that I spend. Um, and this one is seeing a lot of action. So we're going to put 20, 30 in there. So there's 20, 40, 50, 55, 60 in going out. And hair. Would you like to take a guess at how much is going in hair? Give you a hint. It starts with... 30. So hair is getting £30 as well. Everything is getting £30. And that is it. I'm not putting any money in retreat um, and savings had its five. But why is there still £15 here? Well, I shall tell you. We are bringing out the dice again. So I have got lots of different things that I want to save for, want to buy, um, everything like that. Um, but I don't have enough money. So every week I am going to have up to £15 left after I've stuffed my important categories, which is out and about, going out and hair. They will each be getting £10 a week. Um, and then there will be um, up to £15 left at the end of every week. Uh, once I've stuffed those, I'm going to roll a dice and whatever the number, this is where the fifth. £15 is going. So if I roll a one, celebration gets the £15. If I roll a two, clothes gets the £15 and so on. And this is just because I don't have the brain power to figure out exactly what money I need where when. <laughs> so I thought I would just leave it to the hands of the universe to decide. So 
let's have a look and see where this first roll the dice 15 pound stuffing is going whoops four going in hair <laughs> okay uh so let's pop that 15 pounds in hair so now hair has 20 30 45 45 pounds in hair which is cool so that will be um for my next hair appointment but also anything over the top of that will then build up in the wallet to reach my 180 pounds target which will be for my next big hair appointment when i need to get my balayage redone which will be next year um, so yeah, that's it for the cash stuffing. That was everything. I fully appreciate that this one's been a bit kind of here, there and everywhere. I've introduced new things. I've stuffed a lot of cash that I wouldn't normally stuff. It's been a bit everywhere. So, so yeah, let me know what you think about the dice challenge for how I'm planning to get a bit of extra into flossy. Let me know what you think about the dice challenge for the remaining 15 pounds of my spending money each week and let me know what you think about the freedom challenge um also if you have any questions at all let me know just let me know um that's it i don't know how long this video has been it feels like it's been an hour but hopefully it's been okay um i'm going to go to sleep now um and um hope i get a chance to use this affirmation next week which was my creative energy knows no limits unless it's being limited by a migraine um, that's it everybody have a super wonderful week i hope you're all doing fine hope you're all doing okay um, if you want to like subscribe comment do the stuff and i will see you in the next one bye everyone